Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. I will be showing you how I ground myself after someone gets me in a crazy mess. By that, I mean firestorm anger. The emotion pissed off. How do I recover from that emotion? That is why I'm a bit distracted. First of all, download in the information. Why do I... Hang on. Preview... Nope. That's not it. Okay, that, that'll work. Processing what just happened. The ego... My ego is much different than mankind. Humanity. What my ego is saying right now... Never tell me what I should be doing. My work that I do is from my heart, my soul. The guy was mad that I am not editing my videos at all. I am not using After Effects or uh, the other program that has special effects. I can't think of an, another program like After Effects. I use Hit Film, but that's not really... It's not like After Effects. With Hit Film, I can do some things, but After Effects has a lot of more stuff that you could do. He was upset that I don't do anything to my video except color correction and a brightness correction. I leave the audio alone as well. In the past, I was using a tiny pitch shift just so I could listen to my work because I could not get over my voice unless I edit it to my ears so my ears kinda I don't know it, it's hard to explain I was trying a bass and treble effect on the audio but that's not video effect and he wanted me to do more to my videos. The only thing I can do is this background. Okay, this background is the only thing I can think of at the moment. Why are you not going full screen? Oh, never mind. My, never mind. The only effect that I can do is add this background behind my cam because I do not know how to make the cam feed jump around, shake, shimmy, spin, or bounce around the screen. Some zoom in, some make a t spin, spin like a clock. Me, I, what is the point of doing that when it's a real life blog post? The only thing I can do is a time lapse, and why would I do that? There is no point in doing that. So, yeah, I got heated when he's, like, pushing me to, to, um, hey, do edits. Make it your own unique style. 
How do I do that for a real life video? You really can't because real life is already unique as it is. The background is, well, vaguely different. The outfit could be, again, vaguely different. Sound effects, vaguely different. Hairstyle, etc. Et However, for me, I can actually add a background to my uh, to my videos because I don't know. I just like how this looks. I cropped the cam feed so you don't see all this light uh, from me from the window. I cropped it so it will just focus more on me because I don't have a green screen. So this is like a a green screen effect without a a green screen. So the only way I can make my videos different is by centering the cam feed, adding my sizzle, by that I mean art signature on my videos. I added my names, uh, the three names I use now. Mystical Lux Faye is the newest addition. Amarthist was my second after a ton of thinking of what name, username, do I want for my games. Like if I were going to go on Twitch or make a new YouTube gaming channel. And that's where Amarthas came from. Leela Rose is another username, but it is for Lightworker video blog posts. A human name rather than a crazy fantasy username. Except now Mystical Lux Fay or Mystic Lux Fay is actually an attribute to the light worker because mystic is how I see myself. I am a mystic. Lux is a word lumen and uh, it can mean Lux means light or lumen which again refers to light. I am a light worker. I am a light being. Fey means fairy. Fairy indicates Anunnaki. And also, I have felt fairy. I am attracted to fairies, not just because I have Scottish and Irish blood in me from my ancestors, not my current uh, DNA. It's from many generations back. I don't know how many. But yeah, um. Why add a special effects to the sides of me that would be animated. It doesn't make any sense. But he was pissed at me for, oh, so you're a lazy editor, you don't do anything. Well, I'm gonna push you to do more creativeness. And I'm like, but dude, dude, it's a real life blog. How are you going to edit that? I mean, it's not like I'm a uh, a magician or animator or cartoonist um, I don't know it's just, I can't really think how you would edit real life blogs especially when it comes to all you need is your voice that's all I need I could do this without the cam feed but you won't see my facial expressions and my hand gestures, which adds to the impression, the, the energy, feel, aura, what you are feeling. I can't just convey it with my voice, however, well, I can, but... The facial expressions and the hand gestures add to the voice, to the energy. To me, the 
the if I did edit this by I don't know change the color randomly <coughs> <coughs> Okay, Next, pardon me for that. If I change the video to, I don't know, say a blue or rainbow, the, if you are trying to see the aura, you won't get a, a good idea because the video suddenly switched color on you or went to black and white or blue or red or whatever, it draws away from the real energy and that's kind of my process, what is going through in my mind. Yes, I was pissed, but at the same time, he doesn't understand that I, why edit a light worker spirit higher knowledge video posed when the effects could distract you from the energy that I am given off. To me, it muddies the actual energy if that makes any sense. I have watched other YouTubers, light workers, they do not edit the videos at all. All they do, talk, like I am doing right now. They do not edit the videos at all. If they do, it's probably just audio only, like a, a boost of bass and treble or maybe an amplify if they'll audio is too low, which I have tried before, or some other audio effect. Some use, uh, now the, but I, to me, I don't know if they do any audio edits. I know one YouTuber who records, uh, Warcraft stuff, uh, from Wowhead, they actually she does use audio effects and I actually did a video saying what she does. You can, and she did a before and after and before it was all like lower and not oomph enough. And then when she uh, dressed up the audio, it sounded better and just more pleasing. She added more base in trouble to it because the mic is by itself was like dull. You can actually hear it because he did a before and after and even I noticed this when before I updated the firmware my mic was very low and I had to use Amplify to help it but now I don't do anything because I don't know I'm still testing the, the bass in trouble if I even need it, and I probably don't because the mic itself is really good at what it does. I mean, but yeah, but that's just what the YouTubers I follow, they either do a audio helper or they don't. Most of the videos I watch, they don't actually edit, all they do is one guy uses a music cue when certain things happen, like the UFO sound of, well, this isn't, how are you doing this in this UFO music it's playing? Or when something goes wrong, he does another special audio of cue effect. But that's on video games, that's not on real life blog posts. 
I mean, this is how I am, am processing this. This isn't a rant video, it's just a... I don't know, right now I'm laughing at it because how on earth would I even add special effects? The only thing I could have done, but probably wouldn't, add wings. That's it. Just add wings. I can't add aura because I don't know how to do that. I've done it in GIMP. Working with hit film is much different because you were moving. So I would need a, I guess, a camera tracker so the light would follow me or something. I don't honestly have no idea. All I know is the only thing I could add is a, some sort of glow around my body. But that's it. Because I would be showing how I see my aura as. Except, if you are trying to see the aura, then that effect would literally get in the way and would muddy it or would not be able to you would not be able to detect it for instance what if it's blue and i have a blue aura field around me you would not be able to see it see the problem the winds i could add in but but that you have to remember it's um that's in post, so... And then it's also a flat image, it's not 3D, so... I could have one wing right here, but why would I do that? When- if I am moving... I don't know. Um... Could I have moving clouds in the background. Yes, I could if I wanted to, but right now it's just this cosmic mirrored image that I made. It took a shot from VR chat world, imported it into GIMP, mirrored it, color corrected it uh, to this blue, dropped that into OBS, and that's what I did. The only effect um, it's not like I could, you know, shoot a beam from my hand. <laughs> Again, but that's anime. Cartoon. Uh, not really meant for a real-life blog, unless you are doing a movie for that, uh, for that effect to take place. See my thought process? I can't think of anything to add, unless it's audio editing, but why do that when... I don't need to anymore, uh, unless it's based in trouble, but I, I probably don't need that. Um, I don't know, it's just... I don't know, um... Not the video I was hoping to do today, um, uh, but... It's just real talk, you know? It, it, it's what it is, what I do. I'm a light worker. This is my field. Real talk. Duh. I mean, I, I am making funny at myself, which is okay. Uh, my guess is he probably didn't understand or didn't. I don't know. It's just, the way he said it is is like, why are you so pushy? All because I said I don't edit it, edit my videos except for auto color correction and brightness correction. And you were hitting me with, you better find a effect and do this, do that, to... It's like, really? I know how to do how YouTubers have done effects. They have a set rules that they follow. You don't need to tell me that. Even I have done that literally with my other artwork. I have rules, hidden rules that I follow. Like how I make something, uh, for instance. 
I have a set rules how I do the same thing over and over and over again. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, the just the way he said it. He gave me a freaking long paragraph about saying, "Hey, you you need to be more creative on your YouTube videos." It's like I have an intro video, I have an outro video. Why do I need to do anything more than that? I don't do a I could go further with the outro by adding a video links a card thing. I don't. I can't think of what it's called. But I have seen well YouTubers add a video link at the end to say, uh, like to show previous videos or whatever, but. Eh, I don't really, I'm not doing a series, so it kind of doesn't work for me. And the outro is just using links to where you would find them. Like if they were on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, I have that already in my outro. One guy does a little bit of an intro and then he cuts it, uh, cuts that, and then adds his intro video uh, logo thingy, and then he goes back and plays the rest of the video. Uh, not my, not my style. I do the intro first, then put the the meat of the video, followed by outro. That's all I do. That's all I need. So I don't know why he's so hard on me for not doing any edits when it's a real life blog. Even if it's a video game, all I could do is pause it at that moment or slice it and go a like top five kills or top five deaths. But again, not, not my style because again, I'm not doing any of that type to begin with. I mean, I'm not- I have nothing like that on my channel, that's what I meant. Yeah, it's- But the thing is, I know personally I don't like it when people tell me what to do, how to do it. It's like, dude, why you- why do you even care if I do this? or not. Why do you care? And why are you pushing me this way? Like, you're just being a dick. You're being a jerk. And that's a demonic trait right there. You push someone to do something even though they're like, I don't need to do this. But he continued to push. And it's like, Okay, you're not listening to me, so bye-bye, I block you. Because you're pissing me off and you're not listening to me. But again, that's just a demon. They vile you up, they get under your skin and piss you off. Whether they want to or not. They don't care. They don't see it like that. He was 3D. And the other thing is, um, he joined the server. Uh, said one sentence before uh, before he private messaged a bot thinking it was me because the bot uh, the bot tags people when new videos are uploaded I added my videos and other people that I follow thinking the, the, it would be beneficial for me to sell that in my discord and he thought that bot was me even though I have my um, my photo as a my profile photo 
on Discord, and for whatever reason, he thought that this bot was me. So he messaged me outside of Discord. I told him, and then he's like, "Oh, I messed up." But I tagged him, saying hi, in my server. He never replied. He never even sees anything that goes on in the Discord server. All he wanted was private. Even though he said he w he's quiet, however, you never responded to me. You wrote one sentence a week ago or whatever, and then we started talking privately after you got to the right person. Only to then talk about my videos in that way. You need to edit them. You need to do something more so you can stand out more. My content makes me stand out, you fucking idiot. You don't... That's what a 3D person would say. But you need to edit your video so you can stand out. A 5D person would say, but it's my content that makes me stand out, not the effects I use. Because he went on and on about other, don't follow what other people, how they edit, do your own style and find, figure it out. Have your set rules, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, I already know. And how am I supposed to edit my video when it's not animated or a cartoon? For instance, game theory. He does, his video is, okay, OBS is, so as long as it's crossed. Yeah, okay, OBS, you suck. Okay, I don't know, well, the audio crashed. Okay, nope, it's still crashed then, um, hang on. Probably be, I don't know, it's... No, okay, everything's fine now. Anyways. The only... Okay, take, for instance, Game Theory. He has a little podium with, him, with himself. Like a clip art type of image like a cutout, and he moves it around the screen. And to get facial expressions, even though he's, he does not have webcam feed in his videos unless he is doing real life. Uh, I think there was a lot, an older video he showed, he was talking about Zelda and about the potions, like what could they be represented as in the physical world. And then he was in real life. But he didn't really edit much of anything in that video because again, real life feed. You can't really edit that. Um, it's not like an animation or a cartoon or even a mu music video. The only thing I could do is add my own music to the background or use a music from a YouTuber who I contacted and said to him, could I use this? And he said yes, he would be flattered if I did uh, add it to it. Back then, my mic was muffled by the music track because my audio levels were so low that the music overpowered me. I could go back and do that today in my future videos and see if that would add anything to my energy or what I am conveying 
but everyone does that. Well, actually, I take that back. No one really does do that unless it is a meditation video, trance video, not an actual real life blog post. That's me thinking, but I mean, I get why he was telling me edit your videos so you can stand out more, except I already know my content makes me stand out more, not my effects. But this background makes me stand out more, I would say, because it is new now. Like, no one else has done this. It's usually just a still background, your full cam feed, or just a um, I don't know if anyone did a, uh, what's this stupid, oh my god, this is driving me nuts. There's a screensaver ribbons. The ribbon screensaver effect could be played as you talk, except the only time I saw any type of animation like that was with music, a trance music to be exact. Not when you're talking. So yeah, I, I'm at a loss of words to how to... I do not know how to edit real life videos. I feel I don't need to this person wanted me to badly and pushed me to the point where I was like, you're being a jerk, you're being an asshole, you need to go. He was like, uh, he, he's, and he's not listening to me, he just kept on and on about, you need to edit. it. Like I said, he wrote me a, a long paragraph about it, it's like, why? I'm not doing that, I mean, no. And then something told me, okay, since he's not getting it, he's as a demon. Okay, he's under my skin, he's a demon, he needs to go. Even in your anger, your emotions is your gut. Listen to your gut. Listen to your emotion. My gut is my anger. My anger tells me, to block this demon, block this sheep, block this 3D person. Even in this video, there was something to learn. Even though it was just mostly a, a mess. Hot garbage video. <laughs> but yeah. I thank you for your time, and until we meet again, 